Here we go. So you guys might be confused by this algebra one half thing. I don't know why yeah, they didn't. Are you taking the video? I was like, yep. Half. <laughs> I don't know why they call it algebra one half, but it's just a fancy way to say uh, yeah. pre-algebra or like the first half of like what seven. we talk about in algebra. algebra. One, two. Should, should we get a piece of paper? Yeah, if you want to take notes, that would be ideal. Sure. Let me tell you why you should take notes. Here, let me tell you why you should take notes. Okay. Because they help. This is science. You ready for science? Yep. Yeah, you can remember. Science says, if you just watch me and listen to me, you're you're seeing it and processing it once, right? But if you see it, you copy it down on your paper, and you're reading what you're writing, you're processing it three times. Okay. So even if you never looked at your notes again and you just took notes and threw them away at the end of the day, don't do that. But if you did that, then you would still process the information three times, okay? Now, ideally, you wanna be able to look at your notes and figure out what's going on, okay? So this is lesson one. That's where we're gonna start. I know it's weird. No, I would start at lesson four. No. Yeah, you know, this is what the cool kids are doing. Nowadays. Okay? Do they see us or you? <laughs> they why, see me. Why would he I'm not, us? I'm not, okay, that would be creepy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so lesson one, we're going to talk about different types of numbers. There's different subsets of real numbers. So when I say pick a number between 1 and 10, um, technically you could say 7.359, right? Yeah. But that's not what we normally do. We normally go to what we call whole numbers or counting numbers. Okay. So let me talk about counting numbers. What's another name for counting numbers? Anyone know? Numbers. Regular numbers. Um, whole numbers. Okay. Counting numbers are different than whole numbers, but there's another name for counting numbers. It starts with an N. Numbers. <laughs> I was going to say that. It's... Um, <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> <laughs> Natural numbers. Natural numbers. There you go. Second guess. <laughs> natural numbers. Okay. So what numbers come naturally? Well, counting numbers. Okay. So is this how I count? Zero. One. Two. Three. No, that's not. Yes. And that's not very nice. I, that's not very nice zero. to say zero. zero. Okay. No, we start with one. That's what we count with. Numbers you count with. So counting numbers are like one two three dot 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 what is that dot 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 anyone know the yeah, word for that continuing. Continuing. fractions so that is not a parenthesis so, so things there. that's like the settings thing on like most apps now you like you put the little yes. this is called an ellipses it, it means loading yeah or <laughs> loading now this is the little freckles at the top of top right screen of your screen you know you Three push dots. those yeah the little, we call them the nerd freckles, because that's what you push to get on the, the technical stuff. Okay, what? anyway, these are braces, because they kind of look like braces. Mm, they look and then like, we start really. with one, they okay? They look like spasming threes. All right, so the next set up are called oh, whole numbers. What's the difference between whole numbers and counting whole numbers? Whole numbers times zero. Yes, so whole numbers have a hole in it. What? That Whoa. just happened. Time That's a good way to remember done. that. So they start with zero instead of one, and then they go up from there, wow. okay? So whole numbers have a zero in it. Ooh, there's a glare there. Not good. Front row. Hold the phone, row. hold on. So I say hi to Jace. Bye-bye, mountains. Hi, Jace. Hi, Jace. Hi, Jace. Hi. Hi. Like Jason's class? Yeah. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Hey, Jason's even in his class. Hi, Derek. Yeah, he's Henry. he's doing it. Hello, online. Henry. Oh, yes. Henry Stickman. Okay, that didn't help at all. Awesome. Hi, all right. I'm actually seeing the lights. Right, I'll have to fix that. We're chilling. Okay, so you got whole numbers, you got counting numbers, and then you've got 
Um, then, so in these whole numbers and counting numbers, you have place value. All right, so we're gonna talk about place value. This uh, system we have, does anyone know what the system of numbers we have is called? It's called the- Arabic. Uh, it, it, it did yeah, come um, from there, numbers. but- Number line. It's called, it's a 10 part system. What word uh, means 10 parts? Number? Digit? No, there's nine. Yeah. Wait, yeah, no, there's 10. This is called the decimal, decimal system. Decimal system. So decimal means 10 parts. So 10 part system. What are the 10 parts? Well, there's 10 symbols. There's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then you can arrange those symbols to create value. And that's what place value does. So in the decimal system, we've got like our ones value, you know, this, you got your tens, you got your hundreds, and then so on, it keeps going. And then it kind of starts over. So this is like a number group. These are your unit number group. And then you have your thousands, 10 thousands, 100 thousands. And then you got your millions, 10 millions, 100 millions, right? So they're all in these three digit number groups, okay? All right, a lot of this is review, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this, but you can determine the value of a digit and a number. So we're gonna determine value of a digit and a number. So basically, you have to determine what place it's in, take the digit and throw the place value after the digit and say it, okay? So for example, here's a number, four, one, five, six, two, three. Now normally, what do you do to make that more readable? Comma. You put a comma. So you start on the right side, you go three, you put a number, you put a comma by the number group to separate the number groups, okay? So we're looking at this five here. So five, the digit five has the value of what? Six. Uh, oh, five, five, uh, thousand. Five, thousand. five, so it's in the thousands place, right? Yeah. So then we would say five thousand, okay? Say it like that. Thousand. Yeah, you have to say thousand like thousand because it's really cool. Yeah. Okay? So five has a value of 5,000, okay? So uh, you can do that with every single digit. So you, you could write it like this, five thousands. So whenever you put a multiplication sign by something, that means um, that's how many I want. So if I say I want three times apple, I want three apples. Or you can okay? put a dot. Or you don't have to say anything. That's why you can sit, put a five right next to the word thousand, I and that means five times thousand. What's five times thousand? Five, 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 five thousand, okay? Five hundred thousand. What? So this, this value is five times thousand, okay? So I can expand every single digit. So in this number, I can expand, so this is called expanded notation. I've talked about this. This is what it is. I'm going to pick every single digit. So what's the first digit you see? Four. Four. And what place value is that in? Four hundred thousand. So that's in a hundred thousand or thousand. Thousand. So there's four one hundred thousands. Okay. How many ten thousands are there? Uh, one. Okay. So we would say plus or and one ten thousand. 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 And then we've got five thousands. And then what else? What's the six? Six hundred. Hundreds. Okay, so there's six hundreds. What about the two? Two tens. Tens. And then the three times one. Kind of feels weird to say three times one because three times one is just three. But this is called expanded notation. So we took this number and we took every single digit and we basically said what place value it was in. So how many hundred thousands are there? There's four. How many ten thousands are there? There's only one. How many thousands are there? There's five. How many hundreds? Six. How many tens? Two. How many ones? Three. 
So this is what, you'll see this in your homework. You just have to write it in expanded notation. You also have to go backwards. So you have to see a number like this and write it backwards, okay? And that is called standard notation. So for example, let's do, can I see this low? No, I can't. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna erase this. You guys good if I erase this? Yeah. All right, and then I'm gonna do a couple more examples and then we'll call it for the day. And we'll save some for Thursday, okay? Yeah. It's only 12.30. Or 12.41, actually. Yeah, 12.41. According to my calculations. Yeah, that is correct. It is in fact 12.41. My brain 41. cells told, told me. It is 12.41. So this David is, is right. Page two oh, of lesson one. So the other thing that you're going to see is you're going to have um, stuff that's written in expanded notation. So here's a number that's written in expanded notation. And I want to know what it is in standard notation. Standard usually means normal, right? So how do we write this number normally? This is not how you want to go around saying numbers, right? How would you say this number? Four, four. Um, four, yeah, ammo. 40, uh, 40, uh, 40,655. 600 what? Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. So do you remember what you did wrong? Five. So we, we talked about this last year. There's no ands. There's no ands when you're saying numbers unless you're coming to a decimal. So you only say and at the end of the whole number section when you get into decimals. No commas either. So you don't say and when you when there's a comma either. Okay. You only say and when you get to the end. So you're like five and one half. Then you can say and. So it would just be 40,605. Yeah. Yes, that's so well um, said. Okay, well, here's, here's a little trick I learned in Nam. Okay, now watch this. No, I'm just kidding. I wasn't in Vietnam. All right, so the biggest digit is going to be five digits, right? Do you see that? So I'm going to go, I'm going to do five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. So all I'm going to do, since I know this one is going to be there, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put that in the hundreds place. Put that in the fives place, or in the ones place. And then I'm going to fill everything in with what? Zeros. 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 And then I'm going to put a comma right there. And then I'm going to say it. 40,605. 40, don't say and, 600. and, 600, and, or don't say 600. Four and that zero counts. and six and O oh and five. Yeah. <laughs> That's so many ands, Four, oh, that's so eight, illegal. Five, five. Okay, so this is called standard notation. There's gonna be a lot of notations. We're gonna relearn, you guys started to learn last year about scientific notation. You. Scientific notation, there's expanded notation, there's actually a thing called place value notation. Place val value notation is just writing 40,000 plus 600 plus five. That's it. That's place value notation. Wow. Okay, so back to lesson one. Remember, this is pre algebra or algebra one half. So this is lesson one, part two. So technically, this is lesson half. It's <laughs> algebra one half. Okay, we talked about standard notation, expanded notation. You guys remember? Yeah. Good yeah. times, remember? All right, so we are going to talk about rounding and, uh, or actually we're gonna read and write numbers. Why do you need to know how to read and write numbers? So that you can write success numbers. in life. So you can success? I don't think that's a verb. <laughs> Succeed. <laughs> She can success in life. You can success totally. Why do we need to know how to write numbers? Because bank. you might have to yes, write Yes, what, what, what do you do at a bank? You, uh, you write numbers. You, you, write, you write checks, and okay? And actually, I learned this recently. I don't know why, just recently. But banks will always look at what you write. They will prioritize that over the digits that you write in the little box. 
So if you write $100 in the box and write $1,000 on the line, then they're going to, um, they're going to take $1,000 out of your bank and not $100. But what if so, you forgot to add the decimal point? Then well, then if you wanted to write $1,000, then that's great. But see, that's why when you read it or write it, it's always, you don't have to worry about decimal points because it's always accurate. So that's why they always look at that first and then the digits just to make sure you are wanting to spend the money you want to spend, okay? All right, so here's some rules. Do you guys remember talking about this last year? What's the word that you can't say? And. And, don't say and, that's right. We'll get to that. But all numbers, let's start with this. All numbers. And, five, hundred, and, five, and, five, and, five, tenths, and, five, all numbers between 20 and 100, not ending in zero, are hyphenated. What's hyphenated here? It means it has a, has a dash in the middle. Yes. So for example, 23, 23 looks like this. 23 is 20 hyphen three. Now, if you forget the hyphen, the bank is still gonna cash the check. But, um, yeah, don't forget the hyphen. Okay, so that's one rule. Here's another one. Never say never and never say and. Isn't that a song? No, but Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber. There's another, uh, Justin the Fray, I think, has a song. Never say Never never. Um, so never say and. And is reserved for the decimal or fraction portion of a number. When you say one and one half, that's okay. But don't say 356, okay? You sound, whenever people do that, it just, it makes me cringe. And that's okay. Most people say it because most people are not as smart as you. One and thousand. Okay, and me. Okay, so don't say and. Don't say it. And. One and thousand. All right, let's see if one of you can say this number properly. I got you. I got you, though. All right, let's hear it. Nathan. Ooh, I got you. Hold up. That is 500,370,422. I heard ums. I heard some ums, and you forgot that little one. Okay. All right. I heard a lot of ums. Okay, 5,000,000. No. No, no, no. Who else? All right. Emerson. 500,000,000. Okay, I and be careful. I, I thought I heard a 370,000. So remember the mm's. Don't, I count as ands too. So it's not 370. No, it's 370,000. So try to sound as nerdy as possible. That's the key. I heard you say and. Well, I was like, I was saying what not to say. If you ever hear me say and in a number, I'll give you a free promise. That's so hard. Okay? Why is it so hard? All right. Can you guys remember that? Yeah. Yes. 422. Okay. Five, don't forget 370,000. Okay? So whenever you reach a comma, remember these are number groups? Yes. Question. About when you say and in a number, um, if you catch, if you're the one who catches me, then I'll give you a free problem set. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So 501. So all you're doing is saying each number group. You know how to say that number, right? Yeah. 501, not 501. You said it. You said it. You said it. Uh, when I put a not in front of it, then that's what I'm supposed to say. You still said it. So 501. And then when you get to a comma, say the name of that comma. The name of that comma is the name of this number group. What's the name of that comma? Million. The name of that number group. Million. So it, it just say 501 million, 
No comma, so you don't have to say anything after 422. And? You're done. And that's where you would say and if there was a decimal or a fraction. You did say it. Okay? You did say it. All right. I'll compare it. I trust that you're smart enough to know when I'm, I can say and and when I can't. You did say it. Are you smart enough? <laughs> Apparently I'm. I'm no. smart enough. It's all right. We have, we have other classes available. All right. Um, <laughs> So really, this is what you're doing. You're going to read the one to three digit number between the commas, okay? Read the one to three digit number to say or read, actually, let's say say or write because we are this we're learning how to say them and to write them <clears throat> say or write the one the three digit number for example 501 500 this is in your book but if you don't know how to do this then you should write it down okay then i want you to say or write the number group, the name of the number group, okay? Or basically the last place value of what you just read, okay? Say the number group. So in this case, it would be Seven. million. Okay, so that's that's basically it. And then you just read left to right all the way to the end. So number one says read the one to three digit number, 501. And then after that, you're gonna say or write the number group. 501, where is this? Million. 370,422, okay? All right, let's try another one. See if you guys can say this number. All right, Amo, hey, well, you want another shot at this? Yeah. Is there a decimal point? No, nope, there's no decimal point, but what would be helpful? Four billion uh, commas. Commas, so I'm gonna go over yeah. here, go three to the, start at the right and put some commas in. Mm -hmm. All right, that's helpful. Okay. All right. Four billion, 125 million, 678,000, and home 42. Good job. All right. So the only weird, that's perfectly fine. You said 125 million. 100. Say 100, but a lot of people say 125 million. So make sure you put a 100 there. So if you were just to say that by itself, yeah, a lot of people say 125, but the correct way to say it is 125. I know it's, it's a little detail, but it makes a difference. Okay. Because if you're writing a check, and the person you're writing a check to said, oh, they didn't put a one here. I'm gonna put a six in front of it. 625. 125. If you just wrote 125 on your check, someone could try to get the same pen you used and write 625. That's great, good deal for them. I put, uh, okay. Ten. Does that make sense? All right, so um, real quick, this is the end of lesson one. Uh, basically, when you're adding, what are the three parts of an addition problem? What are the two things you add together, and what is the answer to a, uh, an addition problem? Ben? Uh, the, uh, the answer is the sum. The sum is the answer. What are the two things you're adding together? Oh, I knew this one. Oh. Uh, I knew this one. Uh, what? What numbers. are they called? Uh, you are adding numbers. Uh, full numbers. Uh, numbers plus numbers. Number, uh, You're so close. You're saying the um, first symbol. Add end. Add end. Nice. Oh. Dude, way to dig deep into Dude. the I don't depths. Denominator and numerator. Numerator. <laughs> okay, yeah, those are for fraction numerator. and for a uh, division problem because a fraction is a division problem. 
So add n plus add n equals sum. So what's the one that starts with a Q? Quotient. Oh, yeah. Okay, when you add, Quotient. make sure you line up by place value. Because you'll learn, if you haven't learned already in math, is very segregated. So only the ones can add with ones. Only the tens can add with tens. And the hundreds with hundreds. And thousands with thousands. Black math! Give me some math and I'll give you some flack. Black